Walipoingia roho bwana akamwambia angalia juu. Alipoangalia akaona doli. Very smart doli ambayo inakaa kama kamanki. Kadoli kama kamanki hivi. Ka smart sana kumeletea juu ya ya drone. Akamwambia mada babu nipatie hii doli. Alipoichukua akaifungua tena ilikuwa na vumbi ile kaja kamingi akaifungua ndani. Kwenda kuangalia wakiwa leo mama pale wakapata kuna kabarua kaliandikwa wewe hautakuja pata mtoto. Tukaja kuuliza mama na hiyo ni mtoto wapi? Akasema nilikuwa nimeenda kutembelea my aunt Nigeria some years back. Na kanibariki na kipao hata hiyo ile nilikuwa na nirembo nikabeba kwa ndege. Akakuangalia tena kifungo ilikuwa kifungo kwa hiyo ni yote. Walipoomba, alikuwa anasema sahihi mama kwa watu watano wa msao. Praise the Lord. We pray that you force it but begin another day there. Either you believe it or not, they are there and they are fighting you. We pray that you come with me to save us from the people who are okay. La tu changaria ya 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 flani ya maisha yako haiendi vizuri unasema you okay. You are not. Hebu tena nako leo nimekuwa wapi? Una factor wapi sasa? Muulize, una factor wapi? vizuri <laughs> nikielezea na utaelewa wewe kwa ile kategori gani ndio uweze kujua unafaa kufanya nini ndio hizi vita uweze kuzishinda you can write this point down and every one of these types of spiritual warfare are generational ushaandika three types of spiritual warfare hapo chini andike and every one of these types of spiritual warfare are generational na nimezi categorize in three ways kuna generation ya Caleb kuna generation ya Joshua na kuna generation ya Gideon hawa ni wazee waliokuwa wazee wa imani ambao walipigana vita za kiroho na tunaenda kuangalia walikuwa I, because their vita zao siko different all of them walikuwa ni watumishi wa Mungu lakini vita zao zilikuwa tofauti tofauti. Kwa hiyo katika okay, ni nyingi ni nijiongelea kwa hiyo kama kumi Na hizo because of time nikachukua tatu kwanza. Na sasa nikipata nafasi nielezee zingine. Lakini hizi tatu zina play role kubwa sana kwa maisha yako na kwa maisha yangu. Nitaanza na generation of Joshua. First generation, the generation of Joshua. And we will find it in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 7 Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 7 And the Bible says After the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua the son of Nun Moses assistant saying Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over the Jordan this Jordan you and all these people to the land which I am giving to them the children of Israel every place that the sole of the, your feet your foot will tread upon I have given you as I said to Moses from the wilderness and this Lebanon as far as the great river the river of Euphrates all the land of Hittites and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory mm-hmm. no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as i was with moses so i will be with you i will not leave you nor forsake you be strong and of good courage for these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which i swore to their fathers to give them Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left 
that you may prosper wherever you go. Amen. May the Lord bless his words. Amen. Ah, uh, neno la Bwana limetuambia kwamba Mungu akamtokezea Joshua. Akamwambia mtumishi wangu amekufa. Sasa inuka kwa sababu ni wewe utakayeelekeza watu hawa wapokee their promised lands. So generation ya Joshua ukiangalia verse 1 vizuri up to verse 7 unaona inaongea about be in a good courage. Anaambia be strong and be in a good courage. Kwa hiyo ni generation ambayo inafaa kutiwa moyo sana. Ni generation ambao inaamini kwamba haiwezi kafanya kitu bila kusaidiwa. Joshua aliishi na Musa more than 40 years. Kazi yake ilikuwa ni kumbebea briefcase na kumfuata mlimani. Uh, Musa akiwa in the presence of God, akiitwa in a thick darkness. Joshua alikuwa anakaa kule chini anamgoja. Kwa hivyo Joshua alikuwa anajua kwamba Musa ndio ameitwa apigane vita. Mimi I'm just there as a helper. And the Bible continues says, ya kwamba Joshua mwenda wote aliyekaa na Musa, alikuwa tu mtu ambao kumwangalia na kumpatia information na vile Israeli kunaendelea. Hakuna siku Joshua alijiamini kwamba anaweza kupigana vita. Hakuna siku Joshua alijiona kwamba anaweza fanya chochote. Alikuwa muoga, ukiona Mungu akimwambia, "Be strong." Na be courageous. Mungu alijua this man ni muoga. Haamini kwamba kuna kitu anaweza kafanya. Wakati mmoja wa the book of uh, Numbers chapter 13, utaona kuna siku ilifika wakatumwa kwenda kupeleza inchi. Ni mzuri sana alikuwa loyal kwa Musa. Maana alipenda kupeleza inchi, alikuja akasema inchi ni nzuri na hakika sitaishinda. Alikuwa was a good man. Na alikuwa very loyal kwa mtumishi wa Mungu Musa. Lakini generation ya Joshua inakuwa na kauoga fulani. Na hivyo ni wanaa kusema kwamba tumeitwa kama Joshua katika kizazi hiki lakini kuna watu they don't believe they can do something in the kingdom. They don't believe they can pray. They don't believe they can cast out devils. They don't believe they can pray for the sick. Kwa sababu wanajua watu fulani ndio wanafanyanga hiyo kazi. Generation ya Joshua, the generation ambayo inafaa kubeba double portion of the anointing, lakini wamejaa wana uoga na doubt na kujiamini. Joshua amelejiwa akiwa slave in the land of Egypt for, for, for many years. Kwa hivyo hata hiyo ilichangia kwa Joshua kuwa na uoga. Kwa hivyo nikusema generation ya Joshua vile ambavyo imelejiwa na environment ambayo umekuwa nayo inaweza kusababisha ukashindwa kufanya chochote kwa sababu vile ambavyo ulivyorejiwa. Maybe ulirejiwa na wazazi ambao walikukashifu. Ulirejiwa na familia ambayo haikukupenda. Ulirejiwa na watu ambao walikulaani. Wakwambia wewe ni bure, hauwezi kufanya chochote kama ni masomo haushikanishi, hatukupendi, siju unakaa aje, ukapewa majina mengi. Hiyo inawezekana ikachangia na wewe ni mmoja wa generation ya Joshua, ukashindwa kufanya jambo na Mungu amekuita. Kwa hivyo wakati Musa alikufa, Mungu aliona Joshua hawezi akasahau, Esdras Musa yuko pale. So ilibidi Mungu aondoe Musa, watu wakabaki wamegaga, wakabaki na shangao wafanye nini? Wakabaki kujana maswali, sasa Musa amekufa, ni nani mwingine anachukua ushukani? Maana kulikuwa na Haroni, kulikuwa na Joshua, kulikuwa na wazee wengi wa imani walikuwa pale. Lakini Mungu akamtokezea Joshua, akamwambia wewe ndio nimechagua, uchukue manto ya Musa, uongoze Israeli na uwe na nguvu, maana ni wewe utakayewaelekeza ya destiny. Leo nimetumwa na Bwana kutangazia generation ya Joshua ambaye Mungu akiona kama hawezi kufanya chochote. This is your time to rise. This is your time to rise up. This is your time to speak. Maana kuna neema ya Bwana iko juu ya generation ya Joshua. Hata kama kisungu yako iko sawa, Bwana amekuchagua. Hata kama ulizaliwa mahali ambaye walikudharau na kuonekana hawezi, your generation of Joshua, you can rise and speak. Kwa sababu wewe ndio unaimbanga sikuulize. 
Ukisema nitahubiri kwa ushirika ubiri umeambiwa tu nini? Na hiyo Kiswahili yako si piwa. Yaani ukosaji kitu shetani anakuhubiriana ya kuambia wewe hauwezi. Amria tuteli hiyo Mungu ananena na sauti kubwa. Wako wapi generation ya Joshua? Because I'm ready to use them in this generation. Wapendo kuna watu wanakungojea uko nje. We look at kama Joshua uwafukishe to the promised land. Wimbaji wako kuna mtu utaponya na ukili yako kuna mtu utadeliver kuongea kwako kuna mtu utasaidia kwa nini lazima kukaa chini na kujidharau na Bwana anakuchagua wewe ndio Joshua leo arise and fight maana uko na neema kila moja wetu tumechaguliwa in a different way leo asubuhi nilipokuwa nikitafakari about this scripture kuna maswa Mungu aliweka ndani ya moyo wangu nikakumbuka moja nikisikiza daktari mmoja akiongea ama Uh, ama advisor hawa wa 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 advice watu wakasema scientist wanasemanga hivi wakati an egg inakuwa fertilized kwa tumbo la mama wanasema kwamba inakuwa a lot millions and millions of sperms hello lakini ni moja inafertilize wao hizi zile zote zinakuwa waste now listen imagine wakati wewe ulikuwa unatengenezwa Millions of millions zile disappear. Mungu akasema wewe ndio unafaa kukuja katika kizazi hiki. Sasa nimetumwa nikwambie Mungu akona haja na wewe. Hakukumba for nothing, akona haja na wewe and is waiting for you. Yo kia tena mwambie wakati unadilisha Mungu unachelewesha breakthrough yako. Tutokeni kwa maisha ya kawaida wapendo ambao tumesomea. Yaani kwa kushapanga programu yako. Niamke asubuhi nifue, watoto wende shule, nirudi mchwarudi mchana, niwapikie, niwafulie, turare, asubuhi rutini 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 mpaka nini. Watu wanakufa huko nje wanangoja Joshua au Rescue na ni wewe na uko pale. Ukiitwa kuja ufanye semanga wewe hauwezi. Wewe siwe hiyo category. Wewe hakuna kitu unawezaga. Yaani kila wakati unajieka unajipatia na exus kwa sababu kwa moyo wako ulijiambiaga I can do nothing. So Joshua generation ni hao waoga lakini Mungu anawahitaji wapigane vita za kiroho. Joshua akaongoza Israeli ku possess lands, kuchukua new territories. Listen to me aligaba hawa watu wote na kawapanga wakaingia vitani wakaumiza na kuua hawa wa, wa, majitu na, na, na wa, wakanani wa yebusi na wajebu site na wana waanaki waliokuwa majitu Joshua akaongoza Israeli wakawaangamiza wote wakaenhead the land mtu aliyekuwa muoga mtu aliyejiona hawezi akakuwa na nguvu na akaambiwa hivi as long as utafuata kilo ya kiswa na Musa na neno langu lisije likatoka ndani yangu yako you will prosper wherever you go so generation ya Joshua iko na instruction moja ni kuchukue neno na kufollow the instruction kwa sababu hakuna mali ya shari ambayo ile heki mko nayo ya kimisri nitaitumia hakuna mali anambiwa ile wisdom mko nayo nitaitumia ah ah aliambiwa sheria ya neno langu risitoke kinywani mwako so generation ya Joshua mnafaa muelewe hivi ya kwamba unafaa uchukue neno la Mungu uliweke kwa moyo wako and then uanze kuliongea and then you will prosper kama hauwezi simama mbele ya watu utaanza kusimama kama hauwezi imba mbele ya watu utaanza kuimba kama usabiria watu utaanza kuatabiria kwa sababu neno la Bwana liko ndani yako generation of Joshua unahitaji neno peke yake winuke na usikike Leo tunasoma watu ambao waliwacha mak duniani. Wakati wa Abraham kulikuwa na generation ya watu wengi walikufa tu kuwasikia. Wakati wa Paul kuna watu wengi walikufa tu kuwasikia. Wapendwa, generation yako isipite bila kuacha mak hapa duniani. Tusome katika historia. Kuna ndugu ama mchungaji mmoja aliitwa Boni, aliishi miaka fulani duniani na aliacha amefanya hivi. Oh hallelujah. Kuna dada aliitwa Rosa, aliishi generation fulani mwaka fulani, aliacha amefanya hivi. Kuna mzee aliitwa Biwoka, aliishi miaka fulani, katika generation yake aliacha amefanya hivi. Tunahitaji watu kama hawa wataacha mak. Wewe jeneni wewe utaacha nini duniani? Mwambie ndio tunatusumbua hapa kuja kanisani lazima tusumbuane masaa. Ni wataka kuacha mak. Hallelujah. 
Tuko na majenesho na Joshua hapa in the house today wako. Yes. Amen. Yes. Ujue wewe ndio Mungu anataka uinuke upigane vita. Haya. Joshua hata kama aliambiwa ni yeye ataongoza hawa watu ilibidi aende apigane. Koko leo wapendwa kama jeshi ya Joshua tunaenda kuinuka tuingie kwa maombi. Tupigane vita. Kile kinawazuiaga kuinuka kama jeshi ya Joshua mpambane nacho. Kile kimeshika ulizi wa kwenu upambane nacho. Kile kinakuzuiaga usifanye kazi ya Bwana upambane nacho. Kile kinapiganana na familia yenu msifike kiwango fulani upambane nacho. Kwa sababu wakati wa Joshua walikuwa wanapigana na mwili. Sisi wa kizazi hiki hatupigani vita vya mwili na damu. Tunapigana na mapepo wa chapu katika ulimwengu wa roho. So nikuinuke kama Joshua generation ya this time. Tuseme enough is enough. Hatutateseka tena, hatutaumia tena, hatutaumiana tena. This is our time to arise like a generation of Joshua na tupigane na machito to possess the land. Hallelujah. Mimi naona business men and women here. Amen. Lakini lazima wanyote wapigane. Ndio anga yenu ifunguke. Watu ambao unakaa chini na kusign contract na kusign deals kubwa 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 unafaa kufanya vitu kama hizo lakini lazima kwanza uinuke upigane kama generation ya Joshua. Tutoke tu katika kiwango cha ku desire things tuanze kupossess the land. Tumengoja sana. Tumesubiri sana wapendwa. Sizo nimefika ya kuingia kwa vita. Amen. Hebu tuangalie another generation of courage. Let's read the book of Joshua chapter 14 verse 6 to 13. Tuone generation ya Caleb nayo inakuwa namna gani? And the Bible says, Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jeshunem, Jeshuna, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses the man of God concerning you and me in Kadesh by him. I was 14 years old when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh by him to spy out the land and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt but I who wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, mm-hmm. because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. Mm-hmm. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, These forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness and now here I am this day 85 years old mm-hmm. as yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me just as my strength was then so now is the, my strength for war both for going out and for coming in mm-hmm. well. now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day for you heard in that day how the anakim were there and that the title was great and fortified mm-hmm. it may it be that the lord will be with me mm-hmm. and i shall be able to drive them out as the lord said and, and joshua blessed him and gave hebron to Caleb the son of jehuna as an inheritance amen hallelujah Bwana bariki neno lake. Ah, uh, upendo hapa kuna hadithi very interesting. Joshua amepigana vita, ameanza kupatia watu mali yao, ameanza ku possess uh, the place ambao alihaidiwa. Kale kuna yeye akiwa anangoja tu huko, akaona Joshua amuiti. Hamwambi chochote. Alitokelezea huko akaja. Mzee wa miaka 85 years old, ako na mvi ako na kipara amekuwa anangoja the promises of God miaka imeenda alikuja akaambia Joshua nisikize Joshua unakumbuka 45 years ago tulikuwa na wewe wakati tulitumwa tukapeleleza inchi mimi na wewe tukaleta ripoti nzuri na Musa akani promise kupitia kwa Mungu kwa kinywa cha Mungu ya kwamba mlima huu ni mimi nafaa nipatiwe na sasa nimekuja kwako 
Joshua na niko na miaka 85 wakati huo nilikuwa na miaka 40 ile nguvu niko nayo Joshua nisikize vizuri niko na nguvu ya mtu wa miaka 40 usiniona kama nimezeka Joshua I'm still strong give me my mountain I want to go and possess my mountain hallelujah Joshua alipomwangalia alimwambia karibu nimekumbuka mlima chukua and look possess the land alipoambia mlima wake ndio ule wa ode pandele mwingine maandiko nasema kwamba alienda kukusanya wanajeshi wakaingia vitani akapigana akaondoa wana wanaki waliokuwa majitu waliokuwa na nguvu karebu akawaua wote akachukua the land ile kuwa na mashamba ile kuwa na manyumba akapossess the land ahadi ya bwana ya miaka 45 ikatimia siku ile amtambu prophesy today ya generation ya karebu ina ngojaga ina taga ni kama inachelewa inaasumia kwa lakini wakati Hamu tayu kompromis na wana wanaki. Wame 
zimesimama na promise chukua nguvu na mamlaka aliyepewa ingia katika ulimwengu wa roho useme hata kama kwetu hakuna mtu ako na blog na robi mimi nitanunua na nitajenga maana niko na ahadi ya Mungu ndani bwana Yesu asifiwe wapendwa kuna magari mengi lakini yakamata na wana wa anake kuna mashamba mengi yamepossessiwa na wana wa anake generation ya kaleba inamulilia Mungu kila siku mpaka waachilie jua blessing. Amen. Wengine mlinge kwa kwa kidai kwa kwa ni breakthrough bwana wanake wa process marriage. Hakuna siku na kula sawa na amani. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Na ukiangalia matatizo unapitia unaona hiyo mama ndio alipita. Na hiyo mama mkiwa naye nyumbani jioni alimwambia shosho pia alipitia pale. Kuna kitu kinajirudia. Ni kusema Mungu amekubariki na baraka. Promise uko nazo. As a generation of Caleb lakini wana wa anake wanasema hii marriage ni yetu. Sababu wewe kule umetoka ni sisi tunatawalaga. Wengine wanaanza kazi biashara. Ikifika 9 months inasambaratika. Kitu ambacho tunashindwa ni nini kinaendelea na ukichunguza vizuri kwenu unasikia ile dada alikuja na robi akafanya 9 months akarudi sako. So hiyo roho inaenda kuruse nyumbani. Kwa sababu wana wa anake kwa sababu hii familia inafanyaga 9 months. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mwingine akijaribu kujua kwa ndoa tu kusema tu anaweza uliza msichana aoe. Heri na kuwa loose. Muna kosa na manko. Nyumba hizi zinasia kuna ataki imetokezea leo mimi kama kuna pesa ulikuwa nacho na kufikia kuoa tuishe. Ukikaa bachara mambo yanakuwa sawa. Hata unaweza kusema pesa ndio kitu. Lakini na siku nasema tu nataka kumali hel na kumbuka wana wanake wanasema huku hakuna marriage na kama ni marriage wewe utafuta katoto uende ushaku toshoa leo ni vizuri uelewe ile ahadi uko nayo ya Mungu na ni wana wanake kwa jina gani wanapigana na wewe karebu alikuwa na information maana alikuwa ametumwa in numbers of 13 walikuwa ametumwa na Musa na Joshua na wengine wakapeleleza alikuwa na information hiyo mlima nilijua na Musa iko na kina nani ni vizuri kujua kule unaenda unapigana na kina nani ni vizuri kuelewa baraka zako zimeshikwa na kina nani kwa sababu utakuwa na promise ya Mungu utasema ukiwa nayo usamaki mimi nilikuwa na 20 years Mungu alinifundia na nakuja kuwa na hii na hii na hii niko na sisi na hakuna kwa sababu nilifunguliwa na hukujua wana wa anaki ndio ameshika wewe hakuna Highland ama Delta kumali pako pamewa tu hivyo hajajaribu kila mahali pamepossessiwa sasa hiyo na Israel na Pakistan na Pakistan na wanapigania Gaza si mambo kupigania kwa wana kama kuku kwa sababu ya nani na wewe unadhani katika ulimwengu wa roho mafanikio yako mapepo yatarachilia wana wa anaki wa kwa hai wa kwa anga unadhani ya kwa wana wa anaki wako ni kina nani bana sipewe Unapata connection ya kwenda ngambo. Milango inafunguka sasa mpaka mtu akataki kuinvite ama kuandika mpaka invitation letter. Baka eh uh, ticket akoreke kutuma. Wakati una process hiyo visa. Ile siku unaamkia kwenda kwa embassy. Ndio upewe visa mpaka ushalipa kila kitu kinatakikana. Unapata tu panya inotoka from nowhere nikakula passport. Hello. Hii mambo mwangia mnaijua mali mimi na guess mambo yangu hapa. Ni makrofo ya wana wa anaki. Kwa hiyo ukikaja kwenye mwone na mjaji wa high school, kuanzia mzazi, wewe, watoto, na mtoto wako ako class 8 anafaa amalize aingie form 1. Na kwenye hakuna tashai pita hapo. Lazima upambane na mwana wa anaki, wana wa anaki kwa sababu hata huyu watamu destroy. Hizi vitu nawaambia wapendwa ni zinaendelea katika ulimwengu wa roho lakini watu wengi wanapuuza. Maisha ambayo tumeishi kila siku ni spiritual. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Current generation wakati wao 
hao watoto wangu kusoma inahitaji muujiza hiyo ndoa kusimama inahitaji muujiza wewe kuishi kwa hiyo ndoa inahitaji muujiza itafanyika hivyo tu wakati ambao utaelewa vita yako inakuwa kama ni ndani utangalia kwenu wana wa pasi sasa wote na mabrana kuna mtu wa pamari jibu wewe peke yako uko pamari lazima ujue wana wa anaki kwenu hawatakati watu waoe kazi yako mmoja akajaribu kanua shamba wakaua yote ajaribu kununua kitu wanaua lazima uelewe basi wana wa anaki hawatakati muridhi shamba yote Kenya So lazima uinuke kama kare kwambie Joshua nipe promise yangu. Joshua kambariki kare kwa kenda kwa vita. Na wewe leo hii nimekuja kukuambia nimekuja kukubariki ingia vitani. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nasema nimekuja kukubariki ingia vitani. Yeah. Uwe upokee urithi wako. Mlima wako na kungoja. Mlima wako na kungoja lakini wako na wanaki. Sema uficha wana wanaki wako pale. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Niwa ngeta na moja ameprocessiwa kila kitu anafaa kwenda ngambo. Ile siku alikuwa aende akasahau. Wote atakasahau siku yako kwenda. Akaenda siku nyingine. Amebeba misiko yake yote anapiga kwa airport. Wanaangalia passport uh, passport yake na ticket yake na madam. See it's fire. Jana na kadeti kenda bila mtu mmoja. Kai alisahau. Mada bau za bana wa anaki. Wapenda usicheze na azo. Unasikia mwakauni kama utafanya harusi fanya mahesabu kwanza kwetu Dani <laughs> ashaifanya Ukiona wote ni kuchaka kichaka 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 Tutoka 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 otieno otiano kwenye njuu kama Somalia jua wana wa anaki hawataki harusi kwetu Akaenda kama Shaina karibu wakati wakunda barabara yako kwenye njuu <laughs> wana wa anaki hawataki harusi kwenu so lazima ujifunge mshipi kiunoni upambane na wana wa anaki ambao wataki marriage kwenu wengine wanasoma vizuri wana wana graduate unaona wana ma phd wako na masters lakini unapotaka kwa mtaa unasema yo man you know you know i'm supposed to go to us kwa mtaa na uko na phd kwa nyumba haimsaidii kwa sababu wana wa anaki wanasemaga nyinyi someni lakini kazi mm-hmm. Endeni ya tanapo lakini ndoa mm-hmm. Fikeni form 4 lakini madawa za kulevia ni marafiki Wana wanaki wanapangia every family kulingana na mikataba hiyo wewe na wazee wale But I'm here to tell you generation of Caleb this is your time and season kuanguka kama Caleb na uende process your mountain uende uclaim mtoto wako Kama unataka kumishoni yako ni ya ngambo anza ku claim Oh hallelujah. Kama unataka wewe unafaa kukaa na Robi na Uchenge, anza ku claim that blessing like a generation of heaven. Sibu kaa tu mambo injelete. Let me tell you my brother and my sister. Hata kama Mungu alikutokezea hapa nyumba, yeye mwenyewe akakuja. Ukaona mwangaza. Akamwambia mimi mimi bwana Mungu wako Rus. Hakuna Mungu mwingine ila mimi. Na ukamwona kabisa na akakupatia smile. Kile alikuhaidi usipopigana au utakipata kwa sababu wale wamelishika wamekataa nacho. Na hata Yesu alipokuja before tuokoe alienda kuzimu kwanza akamnyanyasha ndani funguo ndio akuokoe wewe. So kila kitu wapendwa kile na kuliwa ndipo sasa kwetu lazima tupigane kama current generation. Hakuna kitu kimepewa free. It only salvation umepewa free. Hizi ngine ni fight kimesi jana mimi niko mrembo wasi wananjua kwana ni wana katiaga wengi bi am okay kando kuja maombi ya nini si make up tu na smile wana ume wanaingia box wewe angalia nyuma wana wanaki hawajali urembo wanaongaka ndugu mmoja kaja akaniambia hapo na harusi angetaka ni mjoy msaidie kupanga preparation ndugu alikuwa rafiki yangu sana ndipo anampenda kambi ya ni sawa na I want to tell you sana and pati kwa mheshimiwa yote na mkai na mwana vice bidi ambavyo watawana na, na fiance wake na kanibia na kaniletea ni salamini siku moja nimekutana na Maria Ariara Road jamaa akambia ameka kichwa chini hata anioni 
nikamwangalia ndiko ndio ndugu kabisa yuko sawa nikamuita akastuka akili kwa kenya kabisa kama brana mimi mbaya akanikona machozi kama za kwani harusi ndio bafaya kwani madam amekukata kanambia pana jana akikuja ndio tuende tuone wazazi wetu kuna mambo tuko na mambo wazazi wetu wanapotea ndio kufanya mambo fulani fulani alipata ajali na akakufa sasa nimetoka hapa kuna counselor hapo hapo baba yangu alinipia ni ndange at least mara tatu kwa wiki sababu na serikali kama akili yangu itaruka wapendwa ni wana wa nachi hawataki watu wa Mungu wa enjoy life but I'm here to tell you current generation and we don't care yes. hallelujah yes. tunajua kama as long as we promises of the father tutainuka yes. tupigane lazima waachilie ndoa lazima waachilie watoto lazima waachilie mali yetu sababu generation ya kare maandiko nasema wali possess mountain so wafunge wa kosa kufunga tutai possess ambe jirani yako uti possess generation ya kare mumpo ni wakati wenu wa kuinuka na mbali nini possess generation ya mwisho because of time ni generation ya gideo Judges chapter 6 verse 12 to 16 Judges chapter 6 verse 12 to 16 And the Bible says And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him The Lord is with you you mighty man of God Vera, my man of Vera. Mhm. Gideon said to him, "Oh my Lord, if the Lord is with you, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about? Saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites." Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I sent you? So he said to him, Oh my my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you. And you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. Amen. Bwana 